Noise. 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 Welcome to Movie Madness with yours truly, JBG. Today, I'll be talking about the film Keanu. And yes, I am a little bit late. It came out last week, but I'm doing it anyways. So here we go. It stars Key and Peel of Mad TV fame and also the TV comedy sketch series Key and Peel. Doy. Um, and it's directed by Peter Atencio, who's known for directing for Key and Peel and The Last Man on Earth. Um, and it's basically about these two dudes who are cousins, these kind of straight laced kind of guys. Um, uh, Mr. Peel's character comes upon a kitty cat after his girlfriend breaks up with him and becomes obsessed with it. Um, and then the cat is catnapped. And him and his cousin, Mr. Key, have to go and infiltrate uh, a drug lord's club and integrate themselves into the operation in order to get the cat back from the blips. The Blood and the Crips, the, who were kicked out of both those gangs, became the Blips. It's kind of funny. It's funny. The Blips. D. Anyways, we got a really cute cat in this movie. Like, damn, that cat is cute. Like, it makes sense that right now as a society, as Americans, we are obsessed with... No, everyone. Everyone is obsessed with cat videos. And this, you know, this movie really, you know, digs into that. And this cat, I don't know where they found this damn little cat, but damn, you will be oogling over this little kitty cat. Oh, I just wanna, just wanna eat him, just wanna eat him right up. Uh, this movie, these guys, Key and Peel, I have such respect for them. They, their comedy show is just so poignant. They take like racial stereotypes and kind of turn them on their head all the time. And they just, they've always been like two guys to watch. I mean, I've always been a fan of them since Mad TV. And like, ugh, oh, just, it sucks that their show is over because it was just so great. Um, and their, their, their chemistry is just so strong in this movie. So thank goodness for that. Um, they play off each other so well, and we, they just they just shine when they're together. So it's always nice to see that. Um, but in the end, you know, this movie was kind of, you know, the screenplay was kind of weak. It was a bit repetitive, monotonous. Uh, there were so many just like comedy of the last comedies of the last few years and like action cliches like it's definitely borrowing from 21 jump street the the jonah hill channing tatum one um a lot um but not landing as strongly as that film did unfortunately i the like uh key and peel bring their charm and you know everything they got to this but it's just, uh, I really only laughed, like, out loud, like, a lot during two or three separate things. And then for the rest, it was just, like, little slight chuckles throughout. Um, so the gags are just a bit repetitive. It's kind of a one-trick pony. Like, yeah, these straight-laced guys, they infiltrate this this gang, this drug operation, and they have to act all a certain way. And, like, it, you know... I mean, Keegan-Michael Key kind of steals the movie. He's absolutely hilarious. He just slays the, He just slays it when he gets into character as Shark Tank. <laughs> He's great. He's great. Um, and, you know, we have Jason Mitchell, straight from, uh, straight out of Cop, uh, ooh, straight out of Compton, uh, where he played Easy e and he's freaking phenomenal in that. I'm, I'm happy to see him getting work, but uh, he deserves something better than this next time. So let's make sure that happens. Uh, Method Man was funny as Cheddar, the leader of the Blips. Um, and then Tiffany Haddish, who I don't think I've seen anything before, had a good turn in this, and I hope to see her in more in the future. But, man, overall, overall it was just... Uh, just a bit underwhelming because of just, I guess I went in with high expectations knowing how smart and witty these two are. And Jordan Peele even co-wrote the screenplay. It just, it just, 
uh, man, I just wish I liked it more than I did. It just wasn't, in the end, that funny. And the ending especially just ticked me off because everything just, like, wrapped up so, like, coincidentally. Like, everything just fell into place in the last two minutes, like, perfectly. Like, uh, it was just, like, wrapped up and, like, a little bow on top. And uh, it was just kind of frustrating, you know? Ah, oh, man. Key and Peel, you guys. Just... You're good at your few minutes of sketches. You're, those are very, very strong. And they have, you know, they say great things and they make people think. I mean, I knew that going into this, you know, there was this movie about a cat, but, like, I thought that there would have been more woven throughout, like, of their poignancy that they brought in their sketches, but it just didn't... That wasn't there, unfortunately, for this one. So... I'm going to have to give this one 89 out of 133 kitten paws. Thank you for watching Movie Madness with yours truly, JBG. Please like and subscribe. Oh, the world is shaking. Thanks for watching. Until next time.